I'm Ross, and I hope that I can help with this problem. I hope it helps to see it worked out and explained a little bit. Um, you have a, a rectangle attached to a semicircle, you said, and um, the rectangle has a length of 8 and a height of 10. So I hope I have those numbers in the right spot. Even if not, you can switch them and do this problem very similarly. Um, and then you pointed out the semicircle has no number, and that's a really common trick in these problems where they try and confuse you by not showing you that number explicitly, but you'll see that it's actually there even if you don't see it. So remember that perimeter means the distance around the outside of an object. So in this case, that means that we wouldn't be going down this dotted line. We'd be starting maybe at one corner of the rectangle, going around the semicircle, and back and then back up this way, right? So the distance around that really crappy blue shape I just drew would be our perimeter. And you didn't give it units, but I'm gonna uh, say that this is maybe inches, right? So eight inches, 10 inches, whatever. So in this case, normally if you have a rectangle, you add up all four sides to get the perimeter. But we're actually gonna ignore one of them. We're gonna ignore this dotted line since we're not actually walking over that one or crawling over whatever we're doing. In this case, uh, so that means we're going to take the 8 on top. Remember that that's also going to mean we have 8 down here on bottom. Let's not forget that one. And we're going to add up those three numbers to start. So we'll have 8 plus 10 plus 8. And that'll give us 26 uh, inches or centimeters or whatever. Now that's not the whole uh, that's not the whole perimeter, right? That's just the part with the rectangle. We still need to add on however long this semicircle is. And remember that to find the distance around a circle, we uh, find what's called the circumference. The circumference is the same as perimeter for other shapes. It just has a fancy name for circles. So to find circumference, usually we use the formula C equals, you can do one of two things. You can do pi times diameter, or you can use two times pi times the radius, which will give you the same thing because two times the radius is the diameter. You pointed out though, like, well, I don't have those numbers. What, what am I gonna do? Well, think about it this way. This dotted line that we drew here, if we drew the other side of the circle, that dotted line is actually the diameter of the circle. And we actually already happen to know how long that line is because it's just the right-hand side of our rectangle. So the diameter of the circle, or in this case, a semicircle, is just 10. So up here with our circumference, we would put pi, or you said to use 3.14, times the diameter, which is 10. And that would give us 31.4 inches. Now, there is one last really important trick to this problem. Remember that I said circumference finds the uh, distance around a circle, an entire circle. We don't have an entire circle here. We have what you rightly called a semicircle. A semicircle is exactly half of the entire circle. So the one thing we gotta do here, and it's tricky to remember, but we gotta take this circumference we just found and we gotta cut that in half because we don't want the distance around an entire circle, we just want one half of it. And that would give us 15.7 inches. So we know the distance around three, side of the rec three sides of the rectangle would be 26 inches, the distance around that semicircle of 15.7, so the very final thing we got to do is add those together and get that our perimeter P is equal to 26 plus 15.7 equals about 41, not about, exactly 41.7 inches. Okay, actually that is an estimate because we use 3.14 for pi, uh, pi. If you use the actual pi value, it'd be a little, little different. So I hope that helps. I hope that that'll help you with any additional problems where it looks like numbers are missing and you can actually find them in different spots. Um, and good luck with other problems that you have to do.